Have you ever wondered why judges wear robes? It's a great question, but if you look back in history, there's not a clear answer. Maybe the best answer is tradition. Long before we were even a country, robes were worn by judges dating back to at least the 1600s. And you've probably seen drawings and paintings where the robes were trimmed in bright colors. And in England, the judges also wore white wigs. At the birth of our nation, and after declaring our independence in 1776, some suggested another way to show our separation from England was to abandon the judicial robes and the white wigs, while others thought that it looked judicial and that we should keep the robes and the wigs. Our country's first Supreme Court Chief Justice, John Jay, in 1789, maybe as a compromise, chose to wear a robe but no wig. You can actually see his robe on display in the Smithsonian. The robe is black and red satin with white borders. But when the fourth U.S. Supreme Court Chief Justice, John Marshall, was sworn in on February 4, 1801, he chose to wear a simple all-black robe. Since then, Supreme Court justices and most other state and federal judges throughout the United States have worn black robes. The black robe also symbolizes impartiality and equal justice for all. So while there's not a specific rule or requirement that we wear black robes, it is a tradition that we here in West Virginia proudly carry on. Thanks for watching and justice for all.